<clears throat> Hello, this will be YouTube um, from the understanding of the instructions we have that we're now live on YouTube. So if you are watching on YouTube, we do have approximately a minute or so before we go live on the Facebook, which is when we will actually start. So it just, hey, look, in this few moments, in this few, in this minute that we might have now, it's always a good idea. I know when I put videos on YouTube, you know, I just want them to get on with what they're doing. But what we're doing here is actually being with ourselves. You know, so it's, it's, it really is a good idea. We've got this extra little bit of time where we can just be with ourselves and quieten our mind. And it looks like we might be live now, which is awesome. So hello, good morning, good evening, good day, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Spring Forest Qigong Live every day. My name is Paula Robinson and I live in New Zealand. I am a Spring Forest Qigong teacher trainer and practice group leader. So I lead a practice group weekly live here in my hometown. And it's also recorded so it can be sent out to anybody around the world who wishes to join in with us. And I teach Qi Activation Level 1 certification. I have a course actually coming up this weekend, another one in July, and there's further dates beyond that. But you can go on Spring Forest Qigong website and read a little bit more about me, check out the, um, the classes that I do and contact details, or you can contact me through my Facebook page, or again, directly, you can contact me direct on my email, paularobinson9 at gmail.com. Now, just really quickly, we had a lot of comments last night, and that was so neat to read your comments. So thank you for that. And it's just astounding how many people around the world are part of this Spring Forest Geelong family now. So really quick, there's a list of some of the places I made. Norway, Holland, England, Scotland, Ireland, Canada, the whole of America, it seemed, South America, South Africa, Australia, Mongolia, India, Spain, and New Zealand. Even my friends in New Zealand joined me at 1 a.m. in the morning. So thank you to everybody who joins around the world, whether it be live or on the recording. You're all very much appreciated. Thank you. So this is our second day together. And today I'll be doing four more of the Chisage pressure points at the end of our practice. And they will complement the four that we did yesterday and go towards a sequence that we're aiming to do on day four and day five. So we're practicing the breathing of the universe, which is the heart system. The element is fire and the color is red. So a little bit on the heart system before we start our practice. So more of an understanding of this organ and the rep what it represents for us. The heart is where the Shen resides. And the Shen being the mind spirit, our true essence of who we are resides in the heart space, say space, center space. That was a combined <laughs> word there. And Master Lin has simplified the words that connect us to this space. In the spring forest Qigong password, I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. This password isn't just something that you can say at the beginning of each practice session that you do. It's something you can use throughout the day. You can use it as a meditation. So for, you could sit for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes and repeat the password in your mind. But the secret and the key there is that when you do repeat the words, really listen to the words that you say in your mind feel into the words and once you start to do that you just watch that magic happen it's it's very powerful 
and very effective, even just as its own practice. <clears throat> the password connects us to our heart, to our joy. And the heart is a gateway to loving ourselves, loving our lives, and it's the center of perception. So energy blockages in the heart center can affect how we perceive ourselves, how we perceive others and the world around us. There's a, one of many sayings that Master Lin has, and I love all of them, but this is very relevant for your practice. You need a gallon to give a cupful. So look after yourself first, enhance and increase your heart chi. It's the best thing you could do for yourself. And that reminds me of, uh, you know, when we go on airplanes and the safety talk at the very beginning, where they say, you know, if the oxygen mask drops down, please put your own on first before looking after anybody else. The same applies with your health and your chi and your own energy and love for yourself. Look after yourself first. Choose, choose the healthiest choices for yourself. You know, choose to focus on what makes you feel good. And it becomes easier when you have a strong heart chi. Hence the practice is so beneficial. So let's go do that now. Let's go and strengthen and enhance our heart chi together. So you can stand, sit or lie down. Standing is best. For people who have not joined us before today, welcome. And honestly, follow along. This is all recorded so you can rewind if there's anything you feel you missed or didn't quite understand. Again, you can contact me. So in preparation for our practice today, stand with feet hip shoulder width apart. Bring your mind into your own body observing your body, your energy flow. Your feet are connected to the ground. Your knees are soft. Your body is relaxed. Your spine is long. Your neck is aligned. My elbows are holding my arms away from my body and my hands are just slightly curved with fingers apart. I'm gonna start activating the chi now with a bounce. Always a bounce for me. So we bounce by using the knees to move the body up and down at whatever speed your knees are happy to go, but just observe the body. You know, if you find your shoulders are getting a little bit tense and almost like bouncing your torso, just allow them to relax. Just check your hips, your thighs, let those relax as you bounce and enjoy the benefits both physical and energetic that this bounce creates. My knees are going quite fast today. I'm just observing in my body and I don't adjust anything. If it feels good, I'm gonna let it be good. So as you bounce in there, we raise the hands now above the head. Just allowing the wrists to naturally bounce with the body. You know, it's not necessary to sort of wiggle the wrists around purposely because then you're, you're activating the muscles then. You just want the body to flow with the bounce. And raise the arms. Just check those shoulders are not sort of coming up here with tension as well. Shoulders are relaxed, knees are happy, arms are bouncing. This is a great move for releasing blockages up in the head, neck, shoulders. And just slowly bringing this down. Continue bouncing with your knees. Bring the arms still away from the body, fingers still apart. 
During this move, you breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're gonna swing the torso, left and right. Knees are gonna continue bouncing. The reason we breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth for this activation is so we can expel any excess chi that's no longer serving us. You just allow that swing to be easy and happy, bringing that to a gradual stop, both the swing and the knees. Holding your stance with your feet apart, your knees are still soft. Elbows out, shoulders relaxed. Check how your body feels now. So when you practice this as well at home on your own, start noticing the difference of the feeling. Feel into that extra energy that you've generated. So we're doing the heart energy today. We'll do a couple more just heart activations. We're gonna clap our hands. This is a great activator for the heart meridian. And we're gonna hold out the left arm and we're gonna use the right hand to cup, hold it in the cup and cup the elbow of the left arm. And swap over to the right arm and cup the elbow crease here. And we're going to raise that left arm and cup under the armpit of the left arm. And swap again to the right arm. We always start on the left and end on the right. Bringing yourself back into your position with your shoulders relaxed, hands at the side of the body. You're going to adjust the breathing now to physically breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. If you can, good, better, best. Connect the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth to connect the two meridian lines. Call in your master's energy. Connect to your heart space by thinking about your heart. Smile. And receive the energy that you're asking and requesting through your master for your help, for your practice in this moment. And receive that through the lower dantian with gratitude. Seeing or just knowing that your light deep in your lower dantian behind the belly button is expanding and now turning into a column of light that stretches from the base of the torso all the way through to the top of the head. Feel into that light within you. If you don't feel things, just know that it's happening for you. Because it still is. And we say the password, I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. To begin the breathing of the universe, we now bring our hands in front of our lower dantian area. Fingers are apart, elbows are away from the torso, palms are facing each other. My knees are soft, my body is relaxed, but I'm held deliberately straight. This particular move follows the speed of your breath. So when you inhale, as the inhale begins, allow your elbows to bring those palms away from each other and lower the knees at the same time. And when your exhale starts, straighten your body with the knees, leaving them soft, bringing those palms closer together. So inhale, lower, and extend, exhale, straighten, and compress the energy between your palms. Go at the speed of your own natural breath. If you start to feel lightheaded, it's quite possible you're trying to make the breath fit the speed 
of the move. Now just allow the body to flow with the inhales and the exhales. Set your intention for the energetic breath. On the inhale, comes in through every single part of your skin. So as you inhale, just feel it coming in through your skin and gathering in your lower dantian. And as you exhale, feel it exit the body to the ends of the universe, carrying with it any imbalances or excess energy that no longer serves you, it's gone. So you set the intention and you allow that to happen. Are we now focus on the key healing element for the heart system, which is the emotion of joy. Invite joy. And we do that by using our minds to either think of a memory where you felt joyful. If you're wondering, oh, is that joy? Is that, I don't quite know what joy is. Don't worry. Just put your order in for joy and the universe will do the rest. It knows exactly what you're looking for. So make up a story. Where would you feel so joyful right now? And let your mind and imagination be free with all sorts. I've had wonderful, crazy things offered to me by my imagination. I've had little camper vans of joy, just filled with joy and flags of joy out the window. I was just hoofing around my body in, in the bloodstream or the energy flow. Don't deny anything that your mind offers you especially if it's a thought that brings a smile. But even simply thinking joy, joyful joy, what we focus on is what we attract. And right now our intention is to invite the emotion of joy, to start to feel joy, to increase and enhance the chi in our heart center and help heal the heart system. So go and find joy wherever you can. I'm going to leave you for a few moments just bathing in your own thoughts of joy. Remember, if your mind wanders, <clears throat> the last thing you need to do is get irritated with yourself. Just be joyful that you've noticed that your mind wanders off. Give yourself the grace of time to practice changing a habit that we've took years and years of teaching our mind. And find joy in the fact that you're giving yourself this time to change 
your natural habits in the way you think. So really feel into the word joy and what that could mean for you. Think about your heart. Feel into your palms and that beautiful energy that you are stretching and compressing right now. There is so much to be joyful about, even with just this move and the intentions that we've set. In addition to the health and healing that it's creating now, right now, for every one of us. I feel joy coming in through every Every breath. Give yourself another inhale. Keeping yourself in joy, in the thoughts of joy, in the feeling of joy. Knowing that you've now strengthened your connection to your own true self. Allowing the hands to just come to the side for a moment. Again, elbows are out, tongues connected, breathing is easy and feel how you feel right now. Start to notice the subtle changes from the beginning of your practice, from the preparation to when you've completed. Intend now for the light to come down to a ball deep behind the navel and allow that ball of light now to spin faster and faster and become smaller and brighter until it becomes the size of an energy pill and tuck that deep behind your navel for whenever you need it again. That is your own medicine cabinet. As we harvest the chi, we're going to rub our hands together, interlace the fingers. So you're rubbing up and down the side of the fingers, distributing this chi to all the points on the hands. We're going to rub the face, massage the face. So start with the index and middle finger, up the side of the nose, all four fingertips connect to the forehead, and we draw down the side of the face to the chin and begin again at the base of the nose. So draw this beautiful heart shape on your face. Again, distributing the chi that we've gathered together. And this is also a really good move for facial wrinkles, by the way. <laughs> All these have got lots of benefits. And we're going to massage the ears, starting at the top. So you use your thumb and index finger, the flat side of the index finger, massage the whole ear, you know, even where the flap on the front Get to the lobe and give it a little pinch or a tug. Start again at the top. So massaging these ears down. And still focusing on the heart space. Let's stretch out the left arm. Cop in the right hand. And we're gonna cop now on the inside of the arm from the elbow to the wrist. Turn the arm around, cop on the outside. Back again on the inside. And then we're going to switch over to the right arm, doing the same with a cup. Inside first to the outside. And lift up that left arm again, because we're now going to cut from the armpit down this side to around the base of the ribs on the left. 
and then raising the right arm the same on this side. So cupping from the armpit down the side. Staying with your cupped hands, cup the kidneys. And look, the kidneys are quite high, so if you can't fully reach, that's fine. Set your intention that wherever you can reach to, that this energy vibration is helping the kidneys. See your kidneys right there. And you could turn the backs of your hands around, so using the backs of your hands to massage the kidneys. So you just easily massage in here. And then turn your hands again. So you're massaging with your palms of your hand, those beautiful energy centers on your palms. Then let's finish with a tailbone tap. So flat fists using the flat side of the thumb and the index finger to tap and create the vibration around this tailbone. The body is slightly bent forward, which helps the flow of the energy go in the right direction. And if you're feeling great, that's awesome. So that completes our move today. So we've just got time before we finish for me to show you these other four pressure points, acupressure points, the chisage. So the first one, left hand again, we're gonna start with the left hand, middle finger. If you can bend the, little, lift the middle finger down to touch the palm of the hand. So that's the spot you're looking for. If you're not able to bend the fingers, then you're looking for around one and a half inches, which is what, three, four centimeters down the palm. And that's the spot you want. So you can either use your thumb or a finger, whichever works, but I, I, thumbs are good. You know, thumbs have got some good strength in them because you want this to be quite firm. And again, the same, just rotate at least seven times in a circular way, but not a big circle, just right on the spot with some good pressure. This is right on the heart center. So another really good one for the heart. And then we're gonna stay on the same arm and find the spot now on the wrist. And this is around five centimeters to say two inches in the center of the wrist here between the two, there's a couple of tendons going down. You'll feel it right between them here. And you're gonna massage the same with some pressure on the thumb and around seven, seven times at least. Just give it a good deep massage on that spot. Swapping over now to the right hand. Same thing, find this spot either with your middle finger or know that it's around one and a half inches, three, four centimeters down here. But when you do this, you don't obviously do it up. You don't need to have your hand up like this. I'm doing this for demonstration. I just usually have mine down near my lap. You know, you can often find a spot that's quite tender. And if you do that, carry on, because that just helps you release any blockages that may be building up. So when you've done your seven, again, come down the wrist to this spot here, same length down and massage again. You know, this one meridian on the wrist, on the forearm, the intestines, lung and heart meridian flows through this one. So you, you can imagine from that how many benefits for the body, even just this one does. Okay, so that's your four today. Yesterday we had the elbow, the V, and now we have these. The elbow one, by the way, if you are pregnant or trying to be pregnant, please leave that one out. Just do the rest of them, okay? So that concludes our time together. Again, today, it's done so quickly again. Tomorrow, we will practice the connecting to heaven and earth which is the earth element, the color is yellow and it connects us to our stomach system. So I look forward once again to your comments. Any questions you have, please let me know and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you so, so much.